What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here. And as you can see, I've been falling apart and ranked. My alt account is actually higher than my main account. I'm not sure if I've ever had it that way. But, um, yeah. Today we're going to play Judgment. Uh, like last time, I'm going to do the whole entire run in the video because you guys enjoyed that. So I'll try it again. And... Looks like Gallant Defender is pretty good. Wings Ward is okay. Solemn Giants, is, I guess, good. And, um, Slayer Siege. I mean, I'm probably just going to start with the Gallant Defender, though. I want to take Creatures early on to see what faction I'm the most in. Just like the Solemn Giant. Slayer Siege. Okay, right, now it looks like we have a Growth Guy down here, some Decay. Looks like. It's pointing towards decay the most. I'll take the eager scar here. Um, oh, Relaros. Okay, now we might have, we might change our mind if we have a Relaros. Um, we could still be in energy, so I'll take the Snargle Hunter. But now we have some big growth stuff. Okay. Hmm. I'm tempted to go Wing Spear Relaros. This row, there's, I'm definitely taking the Relaros. There's not like anything else on the row that I would want to take. I mean, I could take Mudo Fighter. Because I do have a couple Decay things. I could go Breaker because I'm probably going to end up taking Earthen, uh, Earthborn Keeper here. Maybe Earthen Mirth though. I don't know. Let's just, you know, I really like the Relaros, so I'm going to take the Wing Spear. Relaros. Okay, now it looks good because there's also a Gallant Defender. I mean, yes, there was all this stuff here. Doesn't look like we were in uh, growth, but I'll still take the Earth and Mirth. That could be like an amazing enchantment on a Relentless guy, but it would be hard to get it to four growth. But now we have a Earth Wetland Ranger. This is tough, guys. <laughs> I'm kind of all over the place in this draft. I guess I'm going down Defender here. Squire's good, but what do we have more? We have what energy could we have? We have one, two. We right, we're not really in energy. I think we're still definitely in order the most, but I'll take the Wilder Ranger just in case. I'm not playing ranked right now. Um. Sure, Eager Scryer. Okay, Squire. Scryer, Squire. Um, Faith Duty is a really underrated judgment scroll. It kind of stops your enemies in their tracks, especially if you have like a healing scroll to combine it with. So I'll grab that. Like Pilgrim Seat combined with it is really good. So I have that combo working now. I'll take the Power Bound. I want to go order, but it's just hard because I, whenever I try to go order, I feel like I'm trying to force it and it just doesn't work. Order feels so bad in Judgment too. I mean, I have three Eager Strides, but they're all just like one attack. I'm not sure if they'll do a big thing in Judgment. I guess I'll just take the Thought Trap. Alright, Righteous Parts, and that's good. Pilgrim's Feet. Heritage is decent. Faith pulsing, I can't even see how uh, how it would be played. I'll take it anyways. I'm, I'm pushing for order here. A wings cleaver that will help. Heritage. All right, now we got some order stuff. Okay. I'm not sure. Take another faith duty or take the wings cleaver. I'll take the wings cleaver. Um, wings. I could have gotten like bombard with energy, but it looks like it's okay in order's favor now. Advantageous outlook. Uh, infiltrate is good. Entrails cross Uh, reversal or pilgrim's feet? What's our curve looking like? Wouldn't be too bad. Reversal. Um, we already have one pilgrim's feet for the one faith duty. Do we really need two? Reversal can come in handy. I'll take the reversal. Uh, wing soldier over the grounds of the fallen. 
How many creatures? We have nine creatures. I definitely want the creature over the infiltrate, so I'll take the crossman. I'll take I'll solve two crossman. Not bad. Who knows? A ruse can come in handy. Maybe even a field of strife. Uh I don't know. Crowed. Now do I want advantageous outlaw or royal infantryman? Uh, I guess uh, another creature. Another squire is nice. Um, hex marks can be an interesting splash. Okay, pilgrim's feet, squire. Okay, pother's nice. I want some, I want like a couple of five drops in order or something. Like I want storm knights or you know those kinds of creatures. At least three drops and four drops is I'm very look. My curve is very low. Uh. New orders or crossbowmen. Having so many crossbowmen won't be too bad. Whatever, let's just take the crossbowmen. Um, plate armor or pother. I'll take the pother. A greatest partisan is nice. Each fee is one cost. It could be easier. There's a storm knight. Good. Righteous partisan. Whatever. Faith blessing. Another righteous partisan. Another storm knight. This draft just got a lot better in the span of a few picks, and that's it. And a ducal skirmisher or a fleetness. First, I'll take purification, wicked being, and what's our creatures looking like? All right, we're gonna go mono order. Nice. All right, this draft turned itself around to becoming from bad to good really fast in these last like what like eight picks or something. I think I want to help out the curve at the four drop instead of taking the fleetness. Alright, so let's see how we how what we have here. Um Yeah, so we have a six drop, a couple five drops, a bunch of four drops, three drops, two drops, one drops. This is a good curve. Uh we have faith duty with pilgrim suit, which is nice. What are our spells that we can play with for Alaros for his effect? Reversal, Fields of Strife, Advantageous Outlook. And our knights we would draw, or the knights that would work well with Fields of Strife and Advantageous Outlook. Oh, we have a squire, so we have two squires, alright, so the knight scrolls are good. Um, we have to take out two things, so I guess we take out the Faith Blessings, because Faith Blessings are really bad. And... Do I need 19 creatures? 19 creatures feels like a lot in a 30 card deck. Do I really need... 4 1 drops? I need the Royal Infantryman. I like his. He'll give my guys more health. I do kind of like that. Ruse. I don't think we need Ruse. But it's a spell that can work through a lot. So it's Thought Trap. Uh, sure. Let's get rid of Ruse. I think Ruse is pretty weak. So, Order. This is a very creature heavy judgment deck. But creature heavy decks in judgment tend to do well. So, like I said, I'm going to try to play through all the matches of this run and hopefully I can go with five wins so I'll be back when a match is found it's post commentary time so I have all of the matches in this entire judgment run on really fast speed in this video so I'll just um, talk over them so this first match uh, versus John LX uh, I get a pretty decent curve I can go to three and then I can go to four which is pretty good and I have a storm knight to follow up with that and a pother so I can basically do whatever um, probably kill that kill that uh, dude he has unfortunately I did go with the dark strike there so I kinda screwed up my plans a little bit which makes me take damage there and the stupid pother bug with a lock on brute doesn't kill it like if if um the pother bug wasn't there both of those creatures on his side would be dead right now but instead i can only kill one but i still like where i am in this match because i can play more stuff and wings cleaver wouldn't be that good because it doesn't have dominion you see iron whipped my relaros so it's good to note that he has little forms of removal like iron whip uh Dark Strike and Spark, which he just played, that was a very uh, nice Spark because he was able to destroy two of my units there. I'm able to Purification so I can get rid of the Plating, destroy that guy, and play some more creatures. So even though he seems like he's getting like 
good trades, I feel like I'm coming out ahead. And I have power bound in my hand, not much I can do with that. I didn't play it last time because I'd rather have the sacrifice, and that was a good move by maybe is that way I didn't have to sacrifice a Storm Knight, which I played this turn. So he uh, gets rid of my um, my three drop, which I guess is fine. And I don't really have a big play this turn, so I decided to give up my guy down there and run away. Unfortunately, I didn't have a power bound or a heritage to play on that wing soldier because it would be dying anyways. But that's the power of the two move. He was able to that Stormlight was able to run away. Plays a Gravelock Guard, a strong creature, and gets the pillage effect on his Ironclad Reaver. So now I just uh, uh, play um, a Crosswoman and Heritage because I want some more card draw, and I don't feel like playing the Righteous Partisans when I have more creatures than my opponent and not get the cantrip from it. Plays a strong cannon automaton. So I have to think of how I'm supposed to do that. I don't really get good stuff, so I think this is just going to be another runaway turn. And I leave that crossman there out to die because it has heritage on it, so I can get some extra trolls there. And I move up with the crossman too, so if he decides to come across him, he moves right into my skirmisher's path. And I don't have a focus, but uh, if John, John Lux doesn't know that, I don't have any attack buffs for it. So look at that cannon on so just bounce around. <laughs> Jiggles on fast speed. So then he plays another Ironclad River, so he's got some big creatures going on. And then I draw my Relaros again, and uh, I'm able to have a nice turn here because I'm able to take him out and play a Thought, thought Trap to stop the attack from coming from the Cannon Automaton and have enough damage to kill the Ironclad Reaver. So I'm going to start to finish off the Idol soon. He plays a Boom Reaver for some extra protection, and he just starts filling up more creatures on the board. We're about the same in resources now. It's it's kind of close. I'm not able to take out the Cannon Automaton this turn, but that reversal lets me take out the Ironclad Reaver, so I've been able to take out both Ironclad Reavers, and uh, get Squire out, and I have to hope that my Squires can survive, because Squires are very important to using Fields of Strife and Advantageous Outlook. He mail Dispersals, and now I have to just get more units on the board. Unfortunately, I'm not able to kill those guys behind there. So I think I just run away here and try to finish off the idols faster so I can get on to the next match. But he has quite a few scrolls. So uh, he was able to hold me off from winning for quite a while. He's able to use a spark, takes out the other guy and the other guy because he uses uneasy alliance, and then a vicious strike. So now I have to, if I play a Wings Cleaver, it has Dominion, so it's definitely an option, but I feel like this turn, I just, I, because I want to do that so that I can just take out the idol quickly. I know that was, that Purification just was kind of weird because it was just, did really nothing, but I think, I thought I was going to be able to win on the top idol considering I had an advantageous, advantageous outlook this coming turn, which would buff the Skirmisher as well. But he got good protection in front of it, so I'm not able to do that this turn. But I do play it to kill more things, but I don't even draw a spell, so it doesn't work. So it's another. That's a turn where I could have played the Wings Cleaver, but I ended up being a little greedy. And uh, I do um, play Pother, so I'm, I'm able to uh, kill a bunch of his stuff, though. So I'm still looking good in this game. If I can't destroy the top idol, my, my cheap weenies on the bottom will likely destroy the bottom idol. But he. Uh, he moves his units about in a good position that I can't really faith duty that well and stop all of them from attacking. But I'm still able to take out a couple things. Or I only take out the, um, the, uh, I should take out nothing because of the plating, I think. So now I'm just focusing on the bottom idols and he John Alex is fighting hard. He's putting up his defenses perfectly. I thought this match John Alex played very, very, very well in defending his idols. It was very hard for me to to break in because he's like placing them just perfectly. And here I have some I have things to work with. I could go with uh, just finally get that wings cleaver out. I could do a variety of things, and I decide to um, to do just that put in the front row kind of weird and uh he's able to take out some of my creatures you could take out roller roller if he wants he could take out my partisan if he wants so testing john's 
priorities, seeing what he wants to get rid of. And he ultimately decides to let the Relaros live, and he takes out my Righteous Partisan. So, looking back on this match, uh, maybe I shouldn't have tried to fight a war on two two fronts. Maybe I should have just focused on the bottom and had my like Relaros and guys on the bottom there. So, unfortunately for me... Um, actually, this is a good turn here. I'm able to... Uh, Thought Trap to kill the uh, Brood and uh, Reversal to get rid of the two attacking units there. And John Alex just continues to just, like, stop me from winning. I If I had just a couple focuses in this deck, it would go a long way. Focus, if I had any kind of attack buffs besides the one for Knights, then or Counter Reduction would have helped a lot. You see that Iron Whip uh, there. I made a mistake by leaving my unit right in the front there just to be killed, so I lost my Wings Cleaver. That's a little bit annoying, and he's starting to get a bunch of units on the board now. But I do play the uh, Fields of Strife so I can have a little extra attack now. And he plays a Plating and more protection. Just He's just placing out a couple... I don't know how he's not running out of scrolls. It feels like he's just pulling more scrolls, pulling more scrolls out. So I get, a, um, I get some protection going. I play Purification so I can get rid of the Plating, kill that. And I go for the Faith Duty so I can stop the attacks going. And we're really, look at the rounds. The rounds are just going higher and higher. It took, like, I was in a position where I was very close to winning, uh, like, a long time ago. And John Alex has continued to really, to really stop me. And now he plays Uneasy Alliance. Well played there. He takes out two of my units. I still have a bunch of attacking units this turn. And uh, I don't have really a good thing I can do here. But at least that Cannonton's not going to attack because I have... Faith, uh, faith duty. So I still, I still like to protect my guy up there. So maybe I should just give up the top there, but I still go for it a little bit, and I still have so many units on the board. And um, I play the pilgrim's feet so I can heal him up. But he uses a balance dispersal to kill him. So I guess that's okay for me because he wasted a huge amount uh, of dispersal on just that. So here, I have some options um I, I decided to play heritage because that crossman's going to die this turn like the first partisan behind it will also die but i don't have two heritages and get a um squire out so now john alex moves down takes out my wing soldier and he's going to take out my two of my units up top and a plating and he fills up the other side parts of the board and all of a sudden he has more units on the board than me. Like, a great comeback from john alex i'm just hoping that i can somehow s still squeeze out a win. So uh, luckily for me, I'm able to um, draw a Rolleros again. And I'm able to uh, just do a little bit of shenanigans just to get a little extra damage and end up taking out a couple of his creatures. And here, what happened here? We're around 25 already, wow. Uh, the game is flying by. And he iron whips to get rid of my squire and here I'm just, I have a pother to get rid of the cannon armaments on. So I have to hope that 20% chance does not come true and it didn't. That's good. Unfortunately for me, I don't exactly have a way to get rid of uh, the Lockling Brood up top. I don't have a spell I can play on him because pother wouldn't have worked and I didn't have like a Thought Trap or a Pilgrim's Feet to use. So I'm giving up more creatures again up top, so I should really just give up on top. But now on the bottom of the board, the, uh, the idols are barely protected, so it looks like I can win pretty soon. And, um, yeah, and here, I just just like a Fields of Strife would win it, or a couple spells, but I didn't get enough stuff to win this, th to win this turn. But I do have the right stuff to at least destroy a bunch of stuff, and I'm able to... Really, now I really took over the board, and it looks like I'm going to win very soon. And I do, in fact, win because John Alex finally surrenders after a very, very long time. So in the second match, so I'm a 1-0 now. Here's the second match. It looks like order versus order. I look like I have a good starting hand because I can play the one drop. He kabonks it, so I get power gun on it. So if he wants to kabonk it again, I get some extra resources from it. And there is a Thought Trap on the three countdown uh, Crossman, so he won't attack in six turns. That's a long countdown, guys. 
don't really have a play this turn, but I do have a Pother for this coming turn so I can move something, and that's what I do this turn. And I'm actually able to play a Squire as well, so I take out one of the units with a Pother and play a Squire. So, it's, so far in the match, it's going well for me. But then he plays another Obelisk. Those Obelisks are going to be annoying because I don't really have five attack creatures. Mine are all like four attack. There's the other Kabonks, and I'm up to six, six order. And then I get a uh, Roller Ross out, so I just have to keep pounding into those Obelisks because he doesn't have much things threatening behind it. There's a strong creature behind it, but not, not too good. So here, I think I just play the um, Ducal Skirmisher because the Partisan wouldn't draw a scroll with its effect anyways right now, so I get more strong creatures on the board. And he uh, he's a little bit behind me in resources because of my power bound, so I'm looking pretty good in this match. And I have all of my creatures attacking. I don't even have a spell to buff their attack, so I'm not able to do that much. But I'll still destroy uh, s some strong things. And I use the Storm Knight's move too to kind of maneuver around and minimize my damage uh, taken. So that he has to like move outside of the obelisk to kill some of my stuff and it wouldn't be that beneficial to him. But he gets a pushback, which is actually the perfect scroll there. It gets rid of my heritage and <laughs> he's able to kill my Rolleros with it. So that was a great, great play by him. And uh, I don't have the the damage to get rid of his uh, his armor two guy, so I'm leaving it at one health. And there's a tempo theft to get rid of my other guy. So I uh, my opponent is making very nice plays, but I think my deck is just better than him. So Mills just put out the creatures right after they die. And um, I'm just I'm doing just that. Like he doesn't really have enough stuff to just stop my stop my rampage. And he gets some spiky guys out. I get I get another storm knight. It's it's looking it's looking good for me. I'm hoping to get my second win. So I actually I I was considering using the crossman on the spiky guys who so wouldn't take any spiky damage, but I think this way I was able to do a little bit better. And he gets a shrine out. And now his creature a little harder to kill, so I'll have to hold off for this turn. And even though the uh, Righteous Partisans don't draw a scroll. I decided to play them anyway, so they're still 3-2-3s. Three, three. They're not, not, not bad creatures. So he played a, a Imperial Resources, so I'm a little worried now that he can out-ramp me and somehow fill up the board. But I'm not really that worried because how are you going to take down all these units that are attacking like every few turns? So um, he goes for a double Kabonk to kill my cross them and, and uh, actually takes him out as well. So triple Kabonk turn that turn. And I have options. I'm not sure what I want to do. There's not much I can do to not win. I should probably just go straight for the idols. But I decided to just put more units on the board and just bang in. He plays Warding Stone and uh, now we both have our wing spears in the middle of the board facing each other down. Two defensive guys. I get the Rolleros back. And did I play this turn? I'm not paused yet. Yeah, and then gets to uh, play Power Run. In case that guy dies I get some extra order. And he is has a lot of resources now, but I just have to control the board, and I'll be able to hit the idol soon. So he has a big turn that turn, but he doesn't really accomplish that much. And I'm trying to see how I could win kind of fast. And I play some spells around the Rolleros and get the knights going. So it's looking like I can win pretty soon. And he doesn't have that many scrolls on hand, so he can't really make any huge plays. Plays a Knight Scholar, pushes me back, and and I'm just trying to see how I can possibly win this soon. I maneuver pretty decently well, so I can get rid of both of those guys and take out the bottom idol. So I probably should have focused on middle idol first because now this happened to where he had four invasion, so I wasted a whole turn for me. All this attack wasted. So. Yeah, Storm Knights could actually move one, but they were blocked in by other things. And I am able to finally win. So that is the second win, and this is match number three. And uh, I decided to keep the hand because I have a two drop, but it's not too good besides that. But then I got a four drop, so I'll only have one dead turn, and then I'll have a nice curve upwards, even though Cleaver isn't too good without um, but Dominion. So we play Skull Shrine. I get out my Ducal Skirmisher. And 
and what does he do? He plays a clock over where I just move down towards it. And I was a little uh, a little cocky there, just keeping all my units right there. I, just, I was vulnerable to a Thunder Surge, which he was able to use because he had the Skull Shrine, but it's not a huge deal. Two damage to all my units is not that big, and because my guys moved too, I could just put hit something wherever he puts it. But unfortunately, it's not enough to kill the Cannon Arms on because it had because it had armor. And I don't have anything to get rid of the Locking Brood, so I just end up doing the whole runaway thing and sacrifice the other guy. So I'm really hoping he doesn't have like a blind rage or something, but he did. So that was a big blind rage. It killed a lot of my guys. So I'm a little worried now, but I still have uh, control of the board over him. Even though like he's his blind rage and thunder surge earlier like really uh, whittled my board down. And Pother could have gone well either way. I either get Dominion and get my cleaver huge or I kill the cannon automaton so that was a very good pother and he does use iron whip but I'm not sure if you noticed but by playing that extra automaton he was only he wasn't even able to kill the partisan I'm uh, not the partisan the defender so that's probably a little mistake by him he plays another uh infernal blast but he's not able to kill my cleaver so that was a big turn that he wasn't able to do that and after that I'm just I kind of just coast coast to the finish here and um plays a long run. He try, tries to protect a little bit, but there's really not much he can do left. I get the Rillaross, I do some other shenanigans, and um, I think I think he ended up surrender. Yeah, he plays feedback to try to kill that guy, but he has armor. And there he surrenders, so that... No, I actually win. So that is win number three. And this is match number four. I don't have a loss yet, so I'm able to afford one loss and still try to get the five wins. Fortunately, he had an aging knight for my turn one crossman, so I just lost the scroll there. That was a little tough for me. And I have to play partisan without getting the can drop effect. Oh well. So Lucasarts uh, doesn't have a strong a strong board as me in the early going. He does play storm Runner, which is actually really dangerous. I'm scared of that storm runner, and he, what does he do this turn? Yeah, he he actually plays Cran of Strength, Blessing of Haste. So that was now that storm runner is really scary. I'm hoping he doesn't have any more cooldown reduction for that storm runner, and I actually luckily got a faith duty, so I can stop that from attacking a little more. But um, what do you know? He's another Blessing of Haste to kill it. So that was a little annoying, but it's not too bad because I look like it looks like I still have control. Of the game and uh, he plays a metal wonder which doesn't mean much right now but it might later once I play more spells and enchantments I have a lot of spells and enchantments in my deck and uh, I am not even able to take out the storm under the turn so I position about so if he kills my guy up there at least I get the scrolls from heritage and it also forces him to go into the front row which means probably my roller Ross can kill the storm runner which is probably the biggest threat he has and so he kind of falls for the trap there, and I'm able to take out the Storm Runner and play some other stuff. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping this guy doesn't have Thunder Searches and Blind Ranges like the other guy did. But as you know, as you get deeper into a Judgment Run, the decks become better because you get matched with people that are have similar records as you. So uh, he plays a Charge Coil, which could end up being a nuisance, and he gets the Pillage Effect on his Ironclad Reaver. So. I play Fields of Strife, which I didn't really need. I just needed kind of a spell to increase the attack to get rid of the um, the uh, Snarl Hunter, and then I also play Creature. So now I kind of control. I'm I'm controlling the board, and there's not much he can do to come back, but he does make it kind of interesting. You'll see. So I forgot what he did over here. He just plays a Crosswoman and a Giant. But I wasn't sure what to do this turn. There's a lot of things I could do with that pother. A lot of different choices I could do with the pother. I actually end up pothering the charge coil so that I can kill the charge coil while destroying the reaver. And I actually leave the hired smuggler alive. It was a choice I made. Uh, wasn't too bad. And not, I'm not fair to the Psalm giant because I'm not scared of it because it can't attack yet because he only has three energy. So, uh, he decides to pump it anyways, even though he can't attack this turn, so it's easier to attack next turn, and he draws a scroll from the Hired Smuggler. 
So here I just get my strong creatures out on the board again. I sacrifice my squire to kill his guy. I don't mind a one for one trade. And I have some strong creatures to follow up with these following turns like Storm Knights and Wings Cleaver, but I don't really want to play the Wings Cleaver until I'm going to get Dominion because Wings Cleaver is pretty bad without Dominion. But it's pretty amazing with Dominion. So and he ties just to pump and destroy the idol. Um, so now looking at the idols, with that Metal Wonder there and that Solemn Giant hit right there, he's close to winning if I play too many spells. So I have to be careful. I have to be careful. And um, maybe I shouldn't have left that idol open because now if I play three spells, there's a chance that I lose. So I have to try to win this kind of without using spells or if I can take out the Metal Wonder. So I probably should have paid more attention to that Metal Wonder earlier. Now when it's too late, it's almost like I'm in a more intense situation where I can't really I can't really destroy it because I need spells to do that and he uh, plays Horn of Ages and Magma Pack there to kind of stop me from doing a lot of elo damage that was a good play by him and um, I uh, decide I just have to play more creatures to get them attacking more often I do play a Faith Chain so that is, a, that is an enchantment that deals the middle idol of course so there's a one third chance of it hitting the one I didn't want to hit but it at least stopped his guys from attacking and uh the idols are pretty low. I have the cleaver with the dominion out. No, and there is a blessing of haste to get rid of that. And uh, speed vector ult. So the blessing of haste was kind of weird. Didn't really need the blessing of haste. But now I'm able to deal a lot of damage. And I almost can win the game. I just have one idol has one health. So I'm so close to a win. But I'm... But that, that metal wonder, just two spells and I lose. But I mean, because I can kill the Metal Wonder up top with the Storm Knight, I can test the waters and see what happens when I play a spell. If it hits, because it might not hit the middle one, then I can play another spell. So it doesn't hit the middle one, it's the top one. So I can play another spell and it doesn't hit the middle one. So that was pretty good for me. I take out the Metal Wonder. So now that the Metal Wonder is gone, um, I could probably win the game pretty soon. Um, and I may, I thinking if I could win this turn. And uh, I actually, I actually think think I missed a lethal this turn. I don't not I'm not positive. Um because I ended up almost getting lethal. I may have slightly missed a lethal. But he he surrenders here and I get the win. So that's four wins, zero losses. I need one more win without losing twice to get my two thousand five hundred gold for the five oh judgment run and some scrolls. So this one so far isn't so good because he has three units on the board before I get anything on the board. But I do get a squire out, and uh, that vetter really raises resources. And but he doesn't have a turn. I play the following turn, so I I get out some units to combat him. But he gets in a champion ring, which is annoying. So now it looks like he has a little advantage. I get my skirmisher out, and I can go with a storm right the following turn. So I have stronger creatures, it looks like, than him. He has like two drops, but there's a wildling. All those creatures are attacking this coming turn. But I do like the Gallant Defender because that will have a lot of uh, that'll have armor against all his all of uh, his creatures. And he plays a Gallant Defender, so he has the whole one countdown guys going. So I play a Crossman and a Gallant Defender. I'm not. I mean, a Rice Partisan to get the scroll from it. So I've kind of locked out the middle of the board, which is really nice for me plays proximity charge uh luckily my gallant defender will have enough health to take that down um so it has armor too but uh i guess i had to, more than more creatures than my opponent so if he because i have more creatures he's able to get rid of the gallant defender with just a ragged wolf and he's able to have a big turn that turn i probably should have protected my skirmisher more also but luckily enough for me i get another gallant defender so now I'm still holding down the middle of the board pretty darn well. But I'm a little worried here because most of my creatures are not that strong. I wish I still had the skirmisher. But this turn, a very, very, very crucial pother takes out the Great Wolf and it can take out the, uh, the Nog on the bottom. So that was a big turn and I kind of took control of the board. And after this, it's really just like there's not much looking back. He tries to, he tries to break in with maybe like an underground take out my units from the inside. But uh, that's not going to work. I have Pilgrim's Feet to stop the unground un to keep healing him. And then I have, a, I have a Wingsleever who doesn't have the Dominion yet. But now it does because I hit the idol. 
So all I have to do is just hold on to those three idols in the middle and slowly hit hit his hit his idols. And you can hear my dog just barking and says. So now I am just primed to position so I can possibly win next turn. But I don't think I'm able to win this coming turn because at the same time my opponent is trying to somehow find a way to maybe maybe he has like some he's probably just hoping I for some reason leave the idol open and he's able to randomly win, but uh I wasn't gonna do that. And with my cleaver attacking the next turn, I'm hoping I can win. So he um He's running out of time because my cleaver is going to attack with its massive seven relentless attack. And plays two initiate and another uh, another wetland ranger. And now I get a Rolleros out, so I can make a big turn here. I'm able to I'm able to like destroy all of my opponents all my opponent's good creatures. So now he's kind of toast, and he realizes that, so he surrenders. And there's a 5-0 in Judgment, so I hope you guys like me showing the entire run, and that'll be it for today. So like the video, enjoy, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.